again, the folks of Matthew, it's chapter 16, Acts 17 verse, if you will. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word. Cast out the spirit of blood. His word is very important to hear what um, the word is saying to you and me. That's important. Amen. Your life depends on it. And healed all that were sick. And healed. A L L. All. All. That were sick. That it might be fulfilled. Which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying he himself took our infirmities, he himself took, took our infirmities. We as Christians, we have to show the how to hold on to that. That is what Jesus Christ did to us. And bear our sicknesses, and bear our sickness. It took care of our infirmities, and we talked about that a little bit. Uh, the first day of this battle, the second day one, I don't know how infirmity it is, but we bear our sickness. We bear our sickness. Amen. Now go over to Paul writing, uh, the eighth chapter, two verses at the beginning. And we will read them again, the eighth chapter, we go on. The eighth chapter, the twenty-six. And the uh, 27th verse. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmity. Likewise. Now, this is very carefully at the Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul had so much of wisdom from us understanding. Paul was more than a scribe. They were those other uh, apostles. They wrote what they have seen and heard. But the Apostle Paul, when he stepped on the stream after his conversion, if you study, he was the only one who reached back to scriptures. That bring scripture into the present tense that changed revelation knowledge all the way from scriptures. And the Apostle Paul went all the way back to Genesis. Amen. If somebody can do that, my God, they can be that by the Holy Spirit. So that was the individual that we had in the person of the Apostle Paul, the Apostle to us as Gentiles. Gentiles, you have to come outside of the Lord Jesus Christ. You go to Paul. Now, one pastor was counseling with me, and I was showing Paul right and then we stayed up for hours, long time. But then when the individual said, I don't believe everything the Apostle Paul says, you know what? I gave the conversation and I went home. Why waste time with our individual amen that don't be, believe the scriptures? You'll be wasting time. So why didn't have time to do that? 
talk to you and get the scripture the one that said to go to the business. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 
When I listen at that conversation about phone, and after some minute, now let's go to the Bible to let us find, amen, an answer. And now that person was miles away. I said, now, you helped me so well. I'm thinking we're coming all the way to Sister Stephen to join. No, you don't have to let. You have to uproot for you. Because rather now is not the answer. But the Lord Jesus Christ is. Yes. And the Lord Jesus Christ will meet that up to us. Wherever you may be, if you listen to scripture. Yes. You go ahead and put it back down to God. I mean, it's fine. Amen. 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 You can talk to a person, thank you so much, 500 miles away if you are skillful with the word of God. They can get help. I don't care if it's overseas. Because God is omnipresent, that means God is everywhere. Before you pick up the telephone, God was sitting right in the room with you. The Lord did was take you to his word to understand scriptures. He will supply that problem right there where you are. Oh, he said, no, no, no. No, my mind. God said, by my spirit. I'm trying to sit up here there are scars or painful hurt. Uh, and a lot of people in this area, they've been making contact with me in this area. And actually, the best I can do most of the problem is you cannot answer all the problem because it comes out too bad. So listen to me. They got painful hurt that need to be accessed. Now here's an individual at the crossroads of life. Amen. One road is going straight ahead. One is going to the right, and one is going to the left. Now if a person is in the cross, the crossroad of life, sometimes words or sometimes decisions of the individual trying to struggle with by himself, they're going to take the road to the right, the road to the left, and they're going to keep going straight ahead. Now, if you get confused at the cross road of life, amen, don't kid yourself, amen. This Bible that I preach up have the solution, not to some problem, but this word of God have the solution for any problem. Yes. Is that what it is? Yes. And God will try to find a solution when you create the problem. God had the, the solution prepared before the problem. Yes. 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 Hmm? Yes. I'm not like uh, Reverend Hill and John, Reverend Johnson here. They've been trying to find the answer for you, amen. But no, so God had the solution before you have it. Yes. 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 There was a young boy one time, a little child. He had a problem with sulfur. And, and the parents look at him, and sometimes he would even take and go to school and bite the rubber off his pencil. Why? Because I was told it was a little sulfur in the, the, the rubber of a pencil. And he would bite all over and he couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. And some people would chew on the bicycle pedal. He couldn't find what was wrong with it. But it took him to the doctor. And the doctor explained to the family, amen, he had a, a, a slight problem here. Amen. He, he, amen, amen, he's screaming for sulfur. And everything he tried to get, amen, sulfur is something like this. All right. But now, they did not have this solution. What they did, amen, praise God, they had to take him to a, a, a anointed man of God, not anybody. Anybody can't listen to all of your problems. Yes. I will not take my problem from anybody. Yes. So then uh, he was helped through prayer and total deliverance. One day as the story goes, a little more. Went to bed happy on a Christmas night. 
Krista in you. And I think so. Got into bed early. I'm not sure or not. Sadness coming to town tonight. I'm going to go past by the top. You know the Sadness Court story. Don't look at me so sanctified. <laughs> so, the young boy went to bed. I wish I would been early. What in that Christmas moment? Guess what? When he got on stairs, he discovered in his Christmas stocking was nothing but a dirty old. Just as that little boy on Christmas morning was so hurt, there are some people in this world, and I start to say some go to church, but no, I should be that for. I'm let you be the judge of that. But some people in this world, good afternoon, they can point out a weakness. They can point out everything that you are doing wrong, but they don't have the ability to help you with the solution for the problem. What am 
I'm not saying, don't take all those things, you've got to find a solution for it. No. So what I'm saying to you, when an individual has an emotional problem, they need special attention, they need special prayer, you cannot slap them on the head and I'll have them as long as they're going to. No. They need special attention from the preachers. No, they need special attention, amen, praise God, from the word of God. Because my, 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 my topic, I don't know if I give you a topic or not, you know. No, I didn't. Amen. I was speaking from the subject, the Holy Spirit and the healing of our damaged emotions. Uh, look at that as a, I got help for you. 